If you live anywhere in the southern half of the country, then you're probably familiar with this stuff. It's radiata pine and it grows beautifully in Australia, which is fortunate because it helps build our houses and it's never been more important. As well as producing several other products, radiata pine is a softwood which is best known for structural timber framing, the bones of our homes and a vital part of the Australian building industry. The growing cycle of pine, which is currently about 28 years, is cutting edge, starting right at the planting stage through to harvest and continuing at the mill. Special equipment with lasers and sensors measuring the logs multiple times during the process to minimise waste and make sure that as much as possible of each and every log is used. People are often surprised when they come into a pine sawmill at the level of technology that we have nowadays. For many years we've had, for instance, geometrical scanning, so every log and every board that's cut gets scanned by lasers to measure its geometry. We're now moving into quality measurements, so we acoustically grade our timber, our boards, to make sure that the, the timber that's going into the process is stiff enough to make structural timber out the back end. And we've got high-tech multi-sensor scanners in the end of the process for the timber grading. So that's a combination of high-speed colour video to map all of the knots and defects and lasers that shine onto the wood and tell us which way the grain's going. Mills such as Timberlink's Bell Bay Mill are looking to increase capacity into the future. At the moment, Australian grown pine makes up around 80% of our supply with approximately 20% of sawn softwood imported that's available for building timber framing needs. But if we can grow more trees locally, continue investing in sawmill technology, we can meet more demand. This is your blue stuff. This is treated for termites. And Trevor, when a log comes to the mill, um, there's quite a process, isn't there? First of all, you've got to cut it then you've got to dry it, uh, then you've got to treat it in some instances, um, and then you've got to package it and get it back out on a truck to be sold as timber house frames. How long does that take? Uh, we've got that process down to just a few days. A few days? That is, um, That seems incredibly quick. So a log can come from a pine plantation over here, be trucked in, you have it for a few days and it goes out as, uh, as timber framing and is sold very quickly indeed. That's right, yeah, we've invested heavily in technology to get the best out of every log and also to do that in the smallest amount of time possible. Wood is the ultimate renewable. Every tree that is harvested to supply this mill is replaced by at least one tree and often more. Practices improve over time so that the, you know, the, the plantation yield improves over time. So when that tree comes to this mill and we cut it up, we put a lot of effort into minimising the carbon impact of the manufacturing process. So we've got internationally recognised and verified carbon reduction targets in place that we track every year. Um, we're world leading in that. We were the first in the region and about the third internationally in our industry to get those targets in place. So that's the carbon that's used when we manufacture the timber. So that's, you know, the forklifts that you see driving around and the, and the trucks driving around and the electricity we use. But over and above that, every piece of timber that goes into a building is trapping carbon. It's embodied carbon. So there's over half a tonne of CO2 equivalent captured within every cubic metre of timber that's used in a dwelling and that's there for at least the life of the building, which is at least 50 years as the typical design life. Pine farming is another good news story of the Australian forestry industry and another reason why wood is the ultimate renewable. <laughs>